Hey everyone, Keith Locke here, Tips and Tricks HQ. In this video, I'm going to be setting up a Google Custom Search on my wife's WordPress website um, without using any plugins at all. And the whole process uh, probably take two or three minutes to do. It's a really quick, quick thing. Um, it used to be that uh, Google provided Google Site Search, and that's still available. But now that's a free. I think it starts at 100 bucks a year to get that, and now the Google Custom Search um, is the free one. So Site Search is no longer free. It's a paid um, service. And um, there's some differences I noticed with uh, the search results um, and what you know what what gets displayed back. So there's just um, some variances there. Um, I would play with the Google Custom Search, the free one, and then. Um, see if the results show what you like otherwise um, it's 100 bucks a year I think to start for the Google site search but today I'm just going to be installing the free version Google custom search so to get that you should be logged into your Gmail account or your Google account if you have one and you can just Google Google custom search and it should bring up the first link okay so it's google.com slash CSE All right, and I already have one for my wife's website, but I'm just going to create a brand new one from scratch. Okay. All right, so if you wanted to search your entire website, you can actually have it search multiple websites. But for this example, I'm just going to have it in search the entire website, the entire domain. Um, so regardless of the subdomain, I'm just going to use this here. So your site. Bookshelf.com. I'm not going to add any more domains. I only wanted to search her website only for the search results. And that is it. So you can give it a name here. This is if you want to restrict it to particular schema.org types. We're not going to get into that here. So I'm just going to click on create. Essentially, it's done now. You can actually get the code and apply it. Um, so you can click on receive code here. And then if you wanted to, you can just link link directly to the to the URLs of the search URL. So you don't even have to embed any code in your website at all. Um, but we're gonna actually get the code in a second. I just want to make some quick modifications first. We'll go to the control panel. If you want to, if you're gonna if you plan on creating multiple search engines, you can give it a quick description here so everybody knows what it is. I think the name is generally enough. And this is where you would do the upgrade if you wanted to go to the paid version. And this is where you choose whether or not you want images on. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to keep speech input on. I'm going to accept a lot of the defaults here um, for this. If you want to turn on AdSense, you go into this, um, this section, this tab here. You can turn on AdSense. You can add an administrator and other administrators that can make changes to the search engine. And remember, once the code is on your website for the search engine, you can come in here and make modifications and then the changes will be reflected in real like you don't have to apply the code again it'll be automatic all right here's where you change um, in our case with WordPress um, a lot of times it makes sense to put the actual search bar in the sidebar of the website for example and then the search results show up on a different page on your website so we're, we're going to choose two page um, for the for the layout for this save that sometimes your changes are reflected automatically um, in this interface here and sometimes you have to actually click the save button okay you can choose different color scheme if you wanted to and choose whether you want to show thumbnails in the research results it's on by default okay Stats. You can look at the stats later on, obviously, um, or you can have it so Google keeps Google Analytics keeps track of the stats for you. All right, there's actually one last thing here. Let me go into here. Okay, so click on the receive code, and this is the code that actually creates the search box so we're going to actually put that in a text widget 
that shows up in the sidebar. Um, you can put it anywhere you want, in a page or something like that. We're going to put it in a text widget. And then after that, I click on next and I'll get the code that I put into a page um, for the search results. But you have to tell Google the, the actual URL for your search results. So you put that data in here. So you put that in there and then you can just leave this as default. All right, so I'm going to go to my wife's website right now and apply that. So what we're going to do here. We're not overriding the WordPress search. Um, in this example, that functionality is actually going to remain. Um, it's going to it's going to stay like it could stay if somebody knows how to do those type of queries directly with the URL. But if your particular theme has um, the search functionality option for WordPress, you might be able to disable it. Um, with your theme um, dashboard or if it's already part of your widgets if it's already in the sidebar for example or in a footer widget um, the standard the standard search for WordPress is actually right here it's in a it's in a widget so if that exists within your theme you can just click on it and click delete for that particular widget so as you can see here, I already have that code in place for the search box. Um, but what you would do is just choose a text widget from the side here. You put it in the place where you want it to go. And whatever sidebar you want, they're all called sidebar bars, whether it's in the footer or not, it's referred to as a sidebar. So I'm going to put this one at the very top of the main sidebar, call it search. I'm going to call it new search. We can distinguish between the two for this example. And then in here is where I'm going to grab the code. Okay, so I'm going to copy that to the clipboard. Control V, paste it in here, click on save. So now on our website, you can see that that new search box shows up in the, in the right sidebar at the top. Okay, I'm going to scroll down. The sidebar shows up on every page on the site, but on the home page, it goes below the, um, the featured articles. Okay, so there's the, uh, the new search box that we put in place right there. And if it looks a little bit funky, um, some of the websites, even with the default theme for WordPress, this search box looks a little funky. It's a CSS related issue. It's too much to go into here, but if you do Google searches, um, people, have ran in this problem a lot and they provide different um, override CSS override code that you can put into your theme and it's different for every theme where you actually put that um, a lot of times it's just in styles.css in your in your um, in your template files but a lot of themes will have a control panel where you can put custom CSS and also the jetpack pack plugin from wordpress.com will let you include custom CSS. So if you were to run into a problem with the display, the way the search button looks, then you can actually um, put in custom CSS. Just do a Google search for it and say display issues with Google custom search. And there's plenty of forums with different suggestions for you. There's a lot of different suggestions, a lot of different ways to implement it. So I'm not going to cover that here. All right, so now what I want to do, I'm going to go back into the control panel here. I'm going to add a new page because this is going to be where our search results show up. I already have one, but I'm going to create a new one here just for this example. I'm just going to call it results. Google custom search, all right? Google custom search engine, okay. So now I'm going to publish that. And what I need to do is grab this URL here. I'm going to copy that to the clipboard, copy link address here. And then I'm going to go back here, and that's where I'll put this in. And save. So that's done. So now, since I already applied this search box code, I'm going to go ahead and obtain the code for the page, for the search results page. You can see here at the bottom, search results. Copy that to the clipboard. Paste that in place and then click on update.
So you probably wouldn't want to include a link to this page within the men your WordPress menu. Um, what you can do, this page will just happen automatically um, when you when somebody does the search. A lot and a lot of times, what I've noticed implementing this on various websites, what happens is Google. Um, it depends on how much uh, of your data has been crawled, and I don't know. What the diff why there's a difference, but there's a difference between the way site search works and Google custom search. So a lot of times the results, even if your site is indexed in Google, the results don't show up properly initially. Eventually everything works itself out. Um, I don't know what, what the process is for that that Google has to go through. However, eventually everything will work out. So implement it and don't be concerned with the results the first day or two and then check again in a few days and then make sure everything's do some custom queries. So as you can see, when I when I typed in a, a query in there, it actually redirects to this page and then passes the query in the query string. So as you can see, there's no results showing up. It's just showing Google Ads right now. Um, that's about it. So just keep testing your search engine, make sure everything works out, give it a couple of days, be patient with it, and then hit the forums and see what's going on if there's any issues after that. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. Again, this is Keith, Tips and Tricks HQ. Have a great day.